With breaking news happening now, this is a wave news alert. Thank God. That's what she kept saying. Thank God. And I, I told her, I said, just take a deep breath, and then here's what I need you to do. Right now at 5 Team coverage on the crash of a semi that had the driver dangling off the bridge in the cab. We'll hear from the rescuers who saved the truck driver's life. She was hanging 200 feet above the river. And what's next for the bridge following the damage from that crash? Your News at 5 starts right now. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm John Bowl. Myron Sari has a night off. We begin tonight with team coverage. A dramatic scene unfolding on the Clark Memorial Bridge today as crews work to try to rescue the driver of a semi that was dangling in the truck's cab after crashing through the railing. We have multiple angles in team coverage tonight, beginning with Alina Noakes, live from the scene with more on what shocked thousands of people who watched it all unfold in real time. John, this is something Louisville Fire trains for, but has never actually had to respond to before. Chief Brian O'Neill tells us that this is something that stunned not only his crew, but the onlookers in a once in a career type of rescue. It's tr tremendously lucky that it didn't go over. A three vehicle crash over the Ohio River sent a Cisco semi truck crashing through the railing of the Clark Memorial Bridge. The driver suspended over the water. We just took a, took a walk out at lunchtime, thought we'd come down and see the river and saw all this unfolding. Onlookers waiting on the edge of the water, holding their breath as Louisville Fire Department crews responded, eventually securing the driver and lifting her up to safety. We've just watched the uh, emergency services roll out just about well, nothing short of a first class service to rescue that guy out of the trucks. Louisville Fire Chief Brian O'Neill said the 40 minute rescue mission was the worst case scenario with the pin truck in the worst possible position. Obviously, we are willing to risk a lot to save a lot. And uh, so, yes, we will absolutely take that risk to get her out. But it was a constant concern that that truck could shift at any moment. During that terrifying event, Bryce Carden was the firefighter deployed in a crane over the water, recalling what the trap driver said when he made it to her window, harness in hand. Thank God. That's what she kept saying. Thank God. And I, I told her, I said, just take a deep breath and then here's what I need you to do because I needed her to assist in, you know, moving certain ways to be able to get the harness on right. And once we did that, we got her free of the seatbelt and uh, she was on my system, so I knew that we were good from there. O'Neill calling the driver a very brave woman, responding as calmly as one could in that situation, which helped his firefighters do their job safely. Once on the ground, the truck driver walked herself to the ambulance, only taken to the hospital as a precaution. Now we do know that one of the other occupants of a vehicle involved in the crash has been taken to the hospital with some rather serious injuries. We don't know the condition of that occupant at this time. In Louisville, Lena Noakes, Wave News.